What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna to go through how Kanye West's Hurricane was made on FL Studio. First off, I need to make a correction. In my last video, I remade Drake's... In my last video, I remade Drake's Girls Want Girls, and in that video, I said I thought OZ might have produced the chord progression, but it turns out Embeza produced that chord progression, and I found that out because Embeza's brother, Nathan Liu, commented on the video and told me that it did it. So Nathan, thanks very much for commenting and get your brother to make some beats with me. <laughs> Secondly, then we'll get onto the remake. I found out the identical preset for Girls Want Girls, which is in fact in Analog Lab V. In the loophole expansion, it's called Like Usual, which sounds like this. So that's the identical preset for Drake's Girls Want Girls. Now let's move on to Kanye West's Hurricane, which is from his latest album, Donda. This beat was produced by quite a few producers, including Mike Dean and Kanye West himself. And because this is a sponsored video, the FLP will be available for everyone in the description below, as well as Unison's new plugin, Drum Monkey, Monkey, which I am very excited to be part of the promotion for because I really like this plugin. Let me, okay, let me show you why I like it so much. Let's say I wanted to make a beat in two minutes. So I would start off with the 808. Let's use the 808 from Drake's non-stop. I'm going to make a basic 808 pattern following a 1-5 chord progression. If you've seen my previous videos, you know this is my favorite bass melody progression. Then if I wanted to add drums, I could add Unison's Drum Monkey. Put in the genre, which in this case is Trap. Then add my favorite drum samples. Then just go Generate until you're happy with the drum pattern. Then once you're happy with it, go drag and drop audio. Bring it into the playlist and it's going to sound like this. That beat took me two minutes. Anyway, big thanks to Unison for sponsoring this video. You can see why I'm so stoked about this plugin. Let's continue with the remake. First off, we have this bass preset that plays throughout the entire song. You can find this preset in Nexus. It's the Prid sidechain bass inside XP Dance Volume 1. First thing I want to say about this preset is you can see we are playing chords, not just a basic bass melody, like what every other remaker has said on YouTube. I watched every other remake on YouTube and every single one of them used a single note bass melody for the main preset that plays throughout the entire song. But in reality, we're actually playing chords. And that even includes the so-called advanced remakes where they're just blatantly stealing my thumbnail, but that's a video for another day. <laughs> then for effects on this preset, we're using first off parametric EQ2 for a low pass filter, then RC20 retro color for some wobble, heavy distortion, some digital, and bringing down the cutoff, then fruity chorus to make the sound more spacey. Then this plugin is really important. We're adding halftime, which is gonna bring it down by one octave. So without this effect, it's gonna sound like this. Sounds completely wrong, but what halftime is doing is it is dropping it down by one octave and it's stretching the notes out double. So without halftime, it's going to sound like this. Then with halftime. Then finally, we're adding Track Spacer, which is a frequency specific side chaining plugin. And we're using this because there are points where the synth and the 808 are playing together. And since these are both bassy sounds, there can be some clashing in the lower frequencies. When the 808 and the synth play together, the low end of the synth is being reduced when the 808 is playing. So if you watch the screen here, you can see this blue line is the 808 and the white line is the frequencies being reduced in the synth. And speaking of the 808, we have the identical 808, which in this case is the overused 808. And this 808 is really living up to its name at the moment because I'm seeing it in so many songs lately. Even in my last remake of Drake's Girls Want Girls, we used the exact same 808. This is the pattern we're playing with the 808. And what's interesting about the mixing of this 808, if we look at the waveforms of the original song, you can see it's coming up to almost zero decibels in the mix, which is very loud for an 808. I would have it at most negative six decibels in my own songs. It looks like IRKO was the mixing engineer of this song. I would love to know his thought process behind the mixing of this 808. So with the mixing of this 808, I made sure it was coming up to around negative one decibels. Next up, we have the rim shot and I couldn't find the identical rim shot, but when you combine the BWB wave for snare with this rim shot, very cleverly named rim shot together, it sounds really close to the original song. Next up, we have what is, as far as I can tell, the identical closed hat sample, which sounds like this. 
and we're not playing it up at C5, we're playing it down around F4 to F sharp 4. Then you want to right click on your panning settings and go create automation clip and you can see we're automating it from left ear to right. Next up we have this synth pad coming in. I found this preset in Omnisphere, it's the Holy of Holies pad, which I have used before in a previous remake of Kendrick Lamar's Swimming Pools, and we're playing this chord progression. And for effects, we're adding RC20 Retro Color, of course, adding some air distortion and bringing up the tone, then some pretty chorus. Then I decided to export each of these chords into the playlist individually. That way I can reverse them and they're gonna sound like this at first. Then once you reverse it, just sounds a little bit closer to the original song. That's really loud. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for the remake. Thanks very much for watching and thanks to Unison for sponsoring this video. Go check out their Drum Monkey plugin in the description below, as well as the free FLP. We do have a video coming out in the future remaking the entire album. Yes, you heard that correctly. So make sure to subscribe down below to not miss that remake. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.